Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Connor and today I have a review for you guys of probably the most iconic leather jacket of all time. This right here is the Spring Summer 13 um, Biker L01 jacket. It's the first collab with Hedy Salon and it is probably the most sought after biker jacket of all time. So let's get right into it. All right guys, so for those of you guys who aren't as familiar with designer clothing and the prices that go along with them, this is one of the jackets that always ends up in the most expensive sales of the week on Grilled. Grilled is a marketplace for different sellers, and this jacket right here is every almost every single week one of the most expensive items that sells. Why? Because of the demand, because of the designer, and because of the high quality that comes with these kind of jackets and the look that they give you. This look is not something that you're gonna get with another jacket. Okay, and I'm gonna go into debt with this, but I just want you guys to understand that last week I saw this jacket sell for four thousand dollars on grailed used okay i obviously got a good price for it because you guys know i do not pay market for um these kind of pieces but i'll tell you guys i did spend a decent amount i spent between one thousand and two thousand dollars on this jacket and it was a purchase well it was a purchase well spent i'm currently in the process of selling it and i have a buyer who's ready to pay twenty five hundred to three thousand dollars for this so not a stupid purchase for those of you guys who are like oh why would you spend that much on a jacket i buy to sell and to review so I can provide content for you guys, not just to wear, because I cannot afford to lose $4,000 on a jacket, okay? So without further ado, let's get into the details of the jacket. So let me just give you guys a better look at this. I'll scoot back. You guys can see, one of the things that kind of makes this jacket stand out is the cropped fit of it, okay? Some people like that, some people don't. Some people say it's not masculine, but I actually like it when you wear it with the right shirt, because this kind of jacket right here is something where you're always gonna see the shirt. No matter how short your shirt is, no matter how, how high you wear your pants, you're always gonna see the very bottom of your shirt. And that's why some people like to style it with a black shirt. Usually it's a black shirt, but maybe a white shirt if you're trying to be a little bit 80s, or they wear a striped shirt. Striped shirt is kind of the look for these kind of jackets of wear a striped shirt, maybe black pants and maybe suede boots. But you guys can look at the details of this jacket real quick. You can see the buttons right here. They all come off. You can or you can take all these off, but why would you do that? Because that's what you're paying for. And you can see the zipper is slanted. It started on the side. I'm not I'm not holding it a weird way. It's this zipper is not centered. That's not how it's supposed to be. And you can see right here it has a zipper right here right here. And obviously this pocket opens so you can put whatever you want. And getting into the inside of the jacket, you guys can see it has a pocket right here for whatever you want to put in here as well as another one on the other side okay and so looking at the tag this jacket is from 2013 and it is not brand new so you can't expect it to be a super clear crystal white it there is a bit of yellowing but that that's what comes with leather jackets because this isn't something that you're going to wash all the time uh hopefully you're a clean person but this is not something that you're going to wear that you're going to wash every single time you wear it one because it's expensive and two because most people do not want to get the distressed look on this jacket for those of you guys who are unfamiliar with the other years of this jacket most of them are distressed and that actually brings down the value and not because it looks bad but because it, you know that this is the first collab because it's not distressed and you know that the other ones are a bit newer and less rare when they are distressed they could still be a collab with Hedy, but this is the first one and this one is not distressed whatsoever so why make it distressed and why make it look like it's worth less than it is you guys can see right here beautiful calfskin oiled leather um you can see a little bit of creasing but that comes with it um when it was shipped to me obviously it had to be folded or else it wouldn't have fit you guys can see the buttons on the back and something about this jacket that you guys probably want to know is sizing okay so i am usually a size 52 or 54 which is a us large usually i like to go with a 54 unless i want like a more like a slim fit um i got this a size 54 i'll show you guys the tag really quickly i can get this undone okay the tag is right here you guys can see size 54 um, this is actually a pretty rare size. When you look at most of these, they're going to be either a size 50 or a 52. So if you see a size 54 and it's priced a little bit higher, it makes sense because this is a more sought after size. And also rumor has it that they made less of them. Okay. But getting back to the sizing, this jacket does fit kind of small on me. 
It does fit slim, but that's kind of the look that you were going for. They designed it for so it would feel tight because this kind of leather and the calf skin, um, it's going to feel tight at first if you buy it brand new, but after a few wears, it really stretches and starts to form and um, fit on your body better than any other jacket. And so it's made to be slimmer on your arms. If you have big arms, don't worry about that. And it's made to be cropped. It's made to look a bit tighter and it's made to show what's under it. That's the whole point of this jacket. And that's one of the things that separates it from other jackets. Okay. So do I think that this jacket is worth the price tag? For those of you guys, I don't think I said it, but in the US, this jacket retails for between $5,000 to $6,000, depending on where you got it from in the US. Some places were selling it for five, some were selling it for six. But the person that I bought it from was actually located in the UK. In the UK, the retail on it was only four. I don't mean to say like only four, like it's not a lot of money. That is a hefty amount to spend. But for the life that this jacket has, it kind of makes sense why it sells out so fast and why there's such high demand for it and why it's selling every single week in the most expensive is on grill. Okay. And so do I think that it was worth $5,000? Um, if you have a lot of money and you're looking for one leather jacket and you absolutely love this one, the quality of this jacket is impeccable. It's the quality that you're not really going to get from any other jacket, but it still is a lot of money. So if you have the money and you love this jacket and you see yourself wearing it all the time, because that's what people do. People don't just wear it. This is not one where you wear it once and then it sits in your closet for a while. This is a jacket where I see people wear it every single day once they buy it because of the life that this has. This jacket's probably been worn probably a hundred times, but that's the look of it. It still looks pretty much the same as when I got it, other than the, not when I got it, but when it was originally bought other than the yellowing on the tag and a little bit of fraying on the tag on the inside, okay? So this is a jacket where with the right care, the right storage and wearing it carefully, this could last you a lifetime. So investing $5,000 into a jacket um, that's gonna last you a lifetime and that you love and that you see yourself wearing very often, it could make sense depending on your financial situation. But for those of you guys who are trying to be smart, who don't have a bunch of money just to dish out like that, I suggest that you look for better prices, okay? Because different places like Farfetch, like Mr. Porter, they're always gonna have sales for jackets like this, but it's not gonna be this year. But you can still get the newer version of this jacket for a way lower price tag. I'm talking like two to 3,000. That's what you should expect to pay for this jacket, about two to $3,000 with the right shopping. For this jacket specifically, I'm gonna sell it for, I already have a buyer, I already got the money, but I sold it for between 2,500 and $3,000. Okay, but that is because it's a rare collab, it's a rare size, and it's very, very well taken care of. And the person that's gonna buy it, I'm sure is going to wear it all the time and probably has a lot, to a lot of money to spend. But yeah, I haven't really shown you guys the inside of the jacket, but it's a very soft, long lasting material on the inside. I don't know what it, exactly what it is and I don't wanna lie to you guys, but you guys can just take a look at that. And yeah, um, like I said, the shoulders included. If you're worried about this jacket being tight because it is a slim cropped fit, then it's going to expand to your size, okay? It's always gonna come slim. Unless you're a really, really, really skinny person, then it may fit perfectly at the beginning. But for anyone else, I'm probably about like average size when it comes to like being a little bit overweight, a little bit underweight. I'm probably about average right now. And this jacket still had to stretch out just a little bit, okay? So you can always expect that if it fits slim in the store, it fits slim when you're trying it on, when you're gonna buy it from someone, don't always worry about it because like I said, you are going to have it stretch out for you. And that is the whole point of this jacket. He didn't make it so it could be oversized. He didn't make it like this. So it wasn't cropped and it like covered your shirt. He made it like this to be a more slim crop fit, to have all these zippers and just to have a different look. And this is pretty much the definition of Hedy Slimon. This is the most iconic leather jacket you will probably ever see. And I'm glad that I got to review it for you guys, okay? And again, this is the L01, not the L17. The L17s are a bit less expensive and I just wanted to go all out and I thought that I would have it for a bit longer. I thought that I would be able to wear it a few times and then sell it. But right when I listed it, right when I put a picture on my Instagram, it just sold right away. And that should prove to you guys the demand of this jacket. If you guys are looking for a piece to invest into for the right price, consider this jacket, especially now because it's hot. Because once it's cold again and people are going outside more, you're going to get just that much more money. All right. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you guys have not already. And let me know what you guys think of this jacket. 
Is this worth five, six thousand dollars? Is this even worth three thousand dollars? Let me know in the comments, okay? And also leave some suggestions for next videos that you guys want to see. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.